Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Matt over here at Primal Athlete Training Center, www.primalatc.com. You know, we've got two videos that are probably our most watched videos on YouTube. One has to deal with proper shot, uh, proper discus selection. This is a discus. Proper discus selection and how to actually place the discus in your hand. The other video has to deal with getting the discus to fly flat without wobbling while it's in the air. Now, one of the things, I still get a lot of emails from a lot of people wondering, you know, Coach Matt, I'm, I'm doing what you're saying, I'm trying it out, it's in my hand the right way, I'm keeping my thumb down, I'm trying to keep my arm up, but it's still wobbling when it's coming out of my hand, or it's still slipping out of the back of my hand and coming off that, that pinky finger instead of coming off the first finger. What could I be doing wrong? Why is this still happening? I did what you said in the videos. Well guys, there's something I didn't cover before, which has to deal with the position of the arm. Now you've seen before in other videos, I want a 90 degree angle at the armpit. But what I also want to get from you guys is the discus nice and flat, because the hips will create the height when you release that discus. You don't want to just put the thing up in the air and try to arm it up there. Those two things have done will 90% of the time correct the flight of the discus, get it flying flat, get it flying with no wobble, and have it coming off the first finger. What a lot of times um, is not as prevalent is that the athlete is throwing with a crook in their elbow, with a bend in their elbow. And let me show you what happens. If you're throwing with a bend in the elbow, a lot of times what will happen when you're in the power position as you're coming through, everything's starting to extend. If there's a bend in that elbow, sometimes you end up throwing almost a hook shot or an overhand right with that discus. So the discus comes in front of the hip, the elbow is bent, I hope you can see that in this video, the elbow is bent and a lot of times you still end up throwing off of the pinky finger. So the elbow is bent and it comes off the pinky finger. Happens for two reasons. Number one, elbow's bent. That's the big reason. Number two, what happens when the elbow is bent is it shortens that lever. The arm gets shorter. And if the arm gets shorter, it has a shorter distance to travel. Instead of this nice long path with having that arm fully extended, nice long path, now you have a short path, a much shorter strike. And because of that, now the discus comes in front of the hip. The third step, if you're still holding it in their hand the correct way, like you saw in the first video, if you're letting it go with the hand flat, 90 angle at the armpit, like in the second video, and you still have wobble, more than likely you either have the elbow bent or you have the discus in front of the hip. Easy way to correct this, work on some basic, simple, day one of track practice release drills. What I mean by that is pulling the discus back and letting everything else extend, let the hip extend in front and then keeping the arm nice and long and letting it come from behind the hip creating that torque on that discus. If the arm is behind the hip that's going to mean that your hand is still behind the discus and if the hand is behind the discus, as we stated in the first video, well now it's going to be a lot easier to get that discus to roll off of your first finger. So as you see, there's a lot of little moving parts to a discus throw. There's like probably 500 little moving parts, having the elbow correct, but these little corrections that you can make to help the discus fly further and fly straighter with no wobble. Those are the three big ones holding it in the hand the correct way, making sure you have the correct rim weight, those kind of go together for the first video. Second video, having the discus flat to the ground, parallel to the ground, 90 degree angle at the armpit as you release. This one is also not as big as the other two, but it can cause the same problem, which is elbow bent. You want to see elbow straight, nice long lever behind the hip, that's going to keep the hand behind the discus and allow it to come off that first finger easier. If you do all three of these videos, if you do what's, what's talked about in these videos, that discus will not wobble. Plain, simple fact. 
if you think that you've corrected everything from these videos and the discus is still wobbling, more than likely you just need to either videotape yourself doing it because you don't feel yourself doing it or you need to just ask your coach to watch for it because more than likely it's just going so fast that he's missing it. He might be looking at legs and hips and feet and just missing the fact that you just don't have your arm extended all the way and you've got your arm in this little hook shot position. Hook punch. That's it guys. Coach Matt, Primal Athlete Training Center. Thanks for the questions. Keep sending them in. It's insane to me that our videos here at Primal are getting like close to 100,000 views every month. It's really nuts. But it shows just how crazy all my track athletes around the world are for throwing information. So we've got a big announcement coming up about more videos, not necessarily the ones you watch on YouTube. We're going to have some professionally done videos coming up pretty soon, hopefully in the works so that by the time the summer rolls around and you track nuts out there still want to practice, you're going to have some videos that are uh, coming off the shelf, high quality ones that you can download and watch right to your, uh, your droid phones or your iPhones and bring out to practice with you. Doesn't that sound like a great idea? So make sure you keep checking it out. Watch for that announcement. A little bit of a sneak peek. It won't be happening for a few months, but it's coming. You can take me out to the circle with you and hopefully correct some of these little nagging issues that are keeping you from hitting more PRs. Hope to hear from you soon. Keep those questions coming.